Hello, and a very warm welcome to LNT Royal YouTube channel. The good news that we want to send to everyone today. Prince Harry's royal biographer says he probably won't be happy in Los Angeles. While details about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's life in Los Angeles have been scarce, the idea of them escaping royal life and splashing into the glitz of Hollywood seems counterintuitive for people looking to escape the spotlight. According to a new interview, Harry's royal biographer explains that there's probably no real chance that he'd be happy swapping his title for top billing and life as a celebrity. Royal biographer Angela Levin told Newsweek that she believes Harry's chances of being content with celebrity life in Los Angeles would be very small. Levin said, Harry, when I interviewed him, said one of the things he absolutely didn't want to do was be thought of as a celebrity. This was after he met Meghan, but before they married, he explained the difference, that celebrities can pick and choose when they want the press to be there, but if you're a royal, you're on duty 24-7. Levin's statement came after photos of Harry and Meghan were photographed by paparazzi in Los Angeles proper, which has different rules for photographers than Malibu, which is where the couple is rumored to be looking to settle down. Levin explains that the attention is what Harry was looking escape, not get entrenched in. Levin continued, saying that Harry would do anything to make Meghan happy, and that he doesn't want what happened to Princess Diana to happen to her too. She continued, Harry's number one priority is to make Meghan happy, and he'll do everything he can because he feels guilty that he did not do enough to protect his mother, it stayed with him, so he's determined to make Meghan happy. I think he adores Meghan. He thinks she's absolutely wonderful, People notes that since the move, Harry and Meghan have been keeping things quiet. For the most part, they're just staying home, though it's tough to tell if that's to avoid being hounded by paparazzi or to wait out the coronavirus pandemic. Another analysis? Meghan's privacy action against tabloid goes to London High Court. The first court hearing in a privacy case brought by Meghan, Britain's Duchess of Sussex, against a tabloid newspaper for printing part of one of her letters takes place at London's High Court on Friday. Meghan is suing publisher-associated newspapers over articles, its Mail and Sunday newspaper printed in February last year, which were based on a letter she had sent to her father, Thomas Markle. Lawyers for the Duchess say its publication was a misuse of private information and breached her copyright. They are seeking aggravated damages from the paper. Meghan and her father fell out on the eve of her glitzy, pomp, laden wedding to Harry in May 2018. Markle pulled out days beforehand after undergoing heart surgery, and following news he had staged photos with a paparazzi photographer, and speculation about his attendance dominated the build, up to the ceremony. Documents from her lawyers this week accused the Mail and other tabloids of harassing, humiliating and manipulating Markle, and contributing towards the fallout between father and daughter. They argued the Mail had also misquoted from the letter, which was never intended to be made public, to paint the royals in a poor light. The Mail says unnamed friends of Meghan had put her version of events in interviews with the US magazine People, and that Markle had the right to put his side. The paper's lawyers also argue that given Meghan's royal status, there was legitimate public interest in her personal and family relationships. Friday's hearing, which will be held remotely because of Britain's coronavirus lockdown, is the start of the court action and no witnesses will take part. No date has been set yet for the full trial. In the papers submitted by Meghan's lawyers, this week were details of text messages sent by Harry to his future father, in law meeting with him not to talk to the press and to call him and his daughter. The Duchess missed a call from Markle at 4.57 a.m. on the morning of the wedding, and she has not received any calls or messages from him since then, the court papers added. The legal action is the latest step in growing hostility between the media and the couple, who are now living in the Los Angeles area having stepped down from their royal roles at the end of last month. This week the royals announced they would have zero engagement with four of Britain's top tabloids, accusing them of false and invasive coverage. Another report. Are Meghan Markle and Prince Harry doing a tell? All interview for one million dollars? Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry might be in lockdown, 
along with the rest of the United States and much of the world, but they are reportedly already planning their next big career move. Meghan has already begun working on voiceover projects for Disney, while Prince Harry is lying low. But, according to a recent report, the former senior members of the royal family could soon be announcing something explosive. Well rumors of a tell, all interview have been floating around for months, it is looking more and more likely that it could actually happen. And if it does, the royal family will no doubt be livid. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry want to forge their own paths. Rumors that Prince Harry and Meghan were unhappy with the way that things were going within the royal family first began swirling in early 2019. The couple had decided to raise their son away from the media spotlight, a marked departure from how Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge are raising their three children. In addition, Meghan was suffering from extreme negative press and had to deal with tabloid stories on an almost constant basis. In January, the couple announced that they would be retiring from their roles as senior royals and dividing their time between North America and the United Kingdom. While their first move took them to Canada, they recently shifted to Los Angeles, California. In addition, the Duke and Duchess revealed that they wanted to make their own income and work on projects of interest to them. Projects that fans immediately assumed would be very different from the royal norm. After the news broke, people started speculating the couple would eventually open up about the reasons for their exit in the Bowles emotional interview, just as Prince Harry's mother, Princess Diana did, many years ago. Princess Diana's scandalous tell, all interview. It is sometimes easy to forget that Princess Diana was a major tabloid fixture, and was often the subject of media headlines, not always positive ones. To clear the air, following her separation from Prince Charles, Princess Diana sat down with a tabloid journalist named Martin Bashir in 1995. The hour-long television interview was one of the most watched programs in British television history, with fans glued to their screens as the beleaguered royal revealed that Prince Charles was indeed having an affair. In the interview, she admitted to suffering from postnatal depression and bulimia, and that her time in the royal family was very difficult. Within a few weeks of the interview airing, Queen Elizabeth advised Prince Charles and Princess Diana to officially divorce. Reportedly, the interview was kept a total secret from other members of the royal family, and many believed that the Queen was livid about her family secrets being publicized. Will Meghan and Prince Harry do a major post, royal interview? Meghan and Prince Harry have shown signs that they are willing to dish the dirt. In an interview with journalist Tom Bradby in late 2019, Prince Harry candidly admitted to having problems with his brother, Prince William, while Meghan suggested she wasn't getting any support from other members of the royal family. As such, if they did threaten the royal family with a more revealing interview, it would have given Queen Elizabeth good reason to work with them on the terms of their royal exit. In a recent Pajesics report, sources claim that the couple has been offered $1 million in exchange for that big interview. The report claims that Oprah is a likely candidate to conduct the interview, especially since she has an established relationship with Prince Harry and Meghan. The highly anticipated interview would allow the couple to recoup some much-needed funds following their move to Los Angeles. Although the report does state Meghan wants to donate most of the proceeds from the interview to charity. That said, there's reason to believe the Duke and Duchess of Sussex won't be engaging in any kind of tell, all interview, despite the lucrative offers. Upon his royal exit, Prince Harry reportedly made it clear that he will decline any work that makes fun of the royal family. If the Duke is truly protective of his family, he's likely not interested in airing dirty laundry. If anything, a tell. All from Meghan and Prince Harry could address tabloid rumors instead of family woes. And, if a friend like Oprah is running the interview, the narrative is in their control. Nothing has been confirmed by the couple yet. But if rumors are to be believed, it is now only a matter of time before they start spilling the royal tea. Please support growing LMD Royal Channel by subscribe channel, like and share videos us. Your support is the motivation for us to produce better videos. Don't stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here.
Plus, even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Thank you.